Phocian. Phocian was an Athenian statesman and military leader who was promoted to general 45 times, according to legend. His political attitude was uncertain, and he was eventually accused of collaborating with the Macedonians and destroying Athens' democracy. He was a student of Plato and known as the Good. One of Plutarch's Lives biographies is dedicated to him. Phocian, sometimes spelled Phocian, was Phoco's son and was born in the Demi of Potamioi. He studied at Plato's Academy and became a devotee of the great philosopher, according to what is known about his early life. Xenocrates, the philosopher, and Chabrias, the famous general, were among his companions. This illustrious company may explain Phocian's reputation as a staunchly conservative and moral member of the Athenian aristocracy, as well as his famous moniker of Phocian the Good, O Crestos. He was also known for his austere living, and he once sent his son Phocus to Sparta to take advantage of their less showy lifestyle and the Athens elite. Phocian persistently opposed the tactics of his contemporary, the famous orator Demosthenes, and advocated for a more pacific approach to the increasingly dangerous Macedonia. Plutarch claims that he never sought office and instead accepted his responsibilities when they were assigned to him. The same could be true of his ideas, he would often voice his opinion but ultimately defer to government decisions. You can make me act against my inclinations, but you can never make me talk against my judgment, Plutarch recalls him as saying, 225. According to Plutarch, Phocian distinguished himself in the 376 BCE naval fight off the coast of rebellious Naxus. His first military duty, according to some accounts, was as a general, strategos, for the campaign in Euboea in 349 BCE. Following that, he fought on Cyprus, albeit maybe not as a leader. Plutarch also mentions in his biography that the ship of state was already a wreck by the time Phocian rose to a position of power and influence, whatever he may have been accused of later in his career. Athens had fallen into a lengthy phase of decay from which it would never be able to recover. Phocian is said to have been made a strategos 45 times by ancient historians, which, if accurate, would make him the most honored leader in Greek history. In 343 BCE, he was given the title again, during the campaign in Megara, and then a series of appointments followed. He was general in Euboea again in 341 BCE, and in Byzantium in 340 BCE, when he fought Philip and captured several of his ships, proving that the great Macedonian general was not invincible after all. He commanded in 339 BCE, 338 BCE, and 335 BCE, the latter two demonstrating Phocians increased political stature in the aftermath of the Battle of Chaeronea, 338 BCE, in which he did not participate as a general, most likely due to his refusal to fight the Macedonians in a battle he believed Athens could not win. A united Athenian and Theban force was destroyed by Philip II of Macedon, are one of the most momentous battles in Greek history, ending Athenian regional supremacy for good. Phocian, who was elected to the Athenian council in 336 BCE, played a key role in the negotiations that secured Athens' favorable status among the vanquished Greek city-states. When Alexander the Great requested the surrender of the problematic orators Demosthenes, Lycurgus, and Hyprides in 335 BCE, Phocian advised the Athenians to comply, citing the example of Thebes, which had provoked Alexander's fury and been destroyed as a result. Plutarch credited him with subsequently successfully negotiating an amnesty, although later historians believe Demades was the one who did so. 
Fo Xian was appointed strategos for the fourth time, this time for four years, from 322 to 319 BCE. The first of these occurred in Thessaly, during the Lamian War, which he openly opposed, between Macedon, commanded by Alexander's successor Antipater, and a united Greek force led by Athens. Antipater triumphed at Cranon, and Phocian assumed the position of negotiator once more. As a response, Antipater created a garrison in neighboring Munichia, and the city's constitution was altered to restrict the city's political basis, thereby establishing an oligarchy to replace the previous democratic government. Phocian was accused of the capitulation because he was too friendly with prominent Macedonians and too sympathetic to their demands. Furthermore, Phocian aided Nicanor, the Macedonian garrison commander, or rather, since he trusted him, he did nothing to stop him from capturing Athens harbor, the Piraeus. In 318 BCE, when Polyperchon supervised a democratic revolt, Phocian was accused of treachery and sentenced to death by poison. Thanks to the efforts of Demetrius Phalaron, an Athenian statesman Phocian's reputation was rehabilitated in later years. As a result, Phocus became known as the last great Athenian statesman, a man of integrity and principle who mourned as a victim of troubled and deceptive times by later authors like Plutarch.